as you can see the coronavirus has been a pandemic throughout the world and in such a situation it becomes imperative for the teachers to be in touch with the students in the world of communication in the world of technological advancement there is no gap between the student and the teacher and therefore in pursuance with the ethics of imparting education to the students i thought of preparing some videos which are practically important so that in absence of physical classroom in a virtual classroom we are going to witness the practical so children today i am going to start with the first experiment and that is to calculate percentage germination pollen in a given area so that means this particular experiment is based on pollen germination now the question is why there is a need to calculate the percentage pollen germination the answer is today in a world when the population is increasing a lot it is imperative for the crop scientists to store pollen grains in a pollen bank and if you do not check the viability of this pollen grain at a regular interval of time there is no point in keeping those pollen grains if they are viable they will be utilized well and if they are not viable then there is no point in keeping them so this particular experiment is going to teach you how to calculate percentage pollen germination because that is eventually going to give you the percentage viability because viability means ability to germinate and we know until and unless pollen grain germinates fertilization will never occur so therefore what are we going to take in this particular experiment as requirements let's see so the aim is to calculate percentage germinated pollen so the requirements the first plant material and we are going to take catharanthus roseus so we are going to take the pollen grain from catharanthus roseus sada bahar in chemicals we are going to use 10% sucrose because sucrose gives the best result sucrose acts as a source of energy so that pollen germinates and why 10% why not 15 why not 20 why not 5% because this particular percentage is standardized 10% sucrose is considered the optimum and under this concentration maximum species are seen to germinate in glass squares we're going to use can you read glass we are going to use glass slide and we are going to prepare a humidity chamber by using two petri dishes and in this video we are going to use only the compound micro so these 
are the basic requirement for this particular experiment. Now the next is how to proceed. What is the procedure? So I am going to explain to you next.